Hello friends and welcome to another episode of Cycling Insider. In this episode I will give you the buyer's guide for the best bike saddles in 2022. And definitely I can tell you that these bike saddles will uh, change your life, especially if you are a man. So why am I saying this? So you see, as a man, when you are spending a lot of time on the bike saddle, there is a pressure building up uh, down there. And you know what I'm talking about. So you will notice a huge theme on all these saddles, which is this uh, big uh, saddle cutout in the middle. I believe this is a key component of excellent bike saddles for men. And this kind of cutout uh, appeared on the market uh, many years ago and it really changed the game when it comes to saddles for men. Because if you don't have this cutout on the bike saddle, uh, personally I wouldn't even consider that saddle anymore. Because once when you get used to riding the saddles with a huge cutout in the middle, you will absolutely love them and you can never go back to a classical flat uh, saddle. Just because, as I said, there's a lot of pressure mounting up down there and always you want to release uh, that pressure when you are on the bike saddle and this cutout is a genius uh, solution. So in this video as I said I will give you my opinion from my experience what are the best uh, bike saddles uh, on the market that you can currently get. Of course saddles are always a personal preference and feel free uh, to give your comments uh, below and uh, let me know what are your favorite saddles. So we can kick off <coughs> with the Physique cell. This is going to be the Physique Tempo Argo R5 cell with a retail price of approximately 110 US dollars. And at the same time, I will mention here uh, Physique Vento Argo R5. Long story short, the main difference between uh, Physique uh, Vento and Physique Argo R5 is that when you think about Physique Vento, it is more of a performance uh, oriented uh, bike seat, but it's the same retail price of 110 US dollars. So when you look at the Physique Tempo, you can get it in uh, two widths. One is 150 millimeters or 160 millimeters width. And I will also mention here that um, when you look at the weight of this Physique Tempo saddle, it's going to be between 241 grams all the way to 247 grams. Now, uh, when you look at the Physique Vento Argo R5 saddle, the widths are 140 millimeters or 150 millimeters, and the total weight of these saddles can be between 225 grams or 232 grams. So as I said, uh, very small differences between these two saddles, a bit in the weight and a bit in the width of the saddle, but the retail price of 110 US dollars is the same for these cells. But definitely consider Physique Vento uh, Argo R5 or uh, Physique uh, Tempo Argo R5 cell. I will just mention here that when I talk about the retail prices of these cells, you can just easily Google all these saddles and find a lot of discounts on these saddles. These retail prices are specifically from the manufacturer's website, so just keep in mind this is probably the highest price you will ever pay for these saddles. Now moving on, you should definitely consider uh, Prologo saddles, specifically Prologo Dimension Space saddle, which has a retail price of approximately 133 euros or US dollars. And this uh, Prologo Dimension Space saddle, you can get it in two colors. There is this uh, very classical white uh, color and a bit of uh, anthracite or kind of a black gray color. This saddle uh, comes in the width of 153 millimeters and also the weight can be between 215 grams all the way to 230 grams. Excellent saddle to consider. Another excellent saddle to consider from Prologo is uh, absolute legend and this is a Prologo Scratch M5 space saddle. Retail price again of 133 euros US dollars and this uh, Prologo Scratch uh, comes in two colors. There is this uh, super famous classical white combination and then a pure black uh, Prologo Scratch M5. This is an excellent saddle, definitely you should consider it. 
it is 147 millimeters wide and 213 grams light. It is on the definitely on the lighter sides of the saddle. That's why it's so popular. This Prologo Scratch M5. Moving on, uh, we have a saddle from Germany, very famous German company. It's Ergon, Ergon Bike Saddles, and specifically I would recommend you here to have a look at Ergon SR Comp Saddle uh, for men. This uh, saddle has a retail price of approximately 100 US dollars, and uh, the total weight of this saddle is 260 grams, and the maximum width of this saddle is 140 millimeters. Again, Ergon uh, has a huge uh, heritage and knowledge in making uh, excellent bike saddles, so definitely check out uh, Ergon uh, bike saddles. Now let's move on to Sella Italia, another huge name when it comes to bike saddles, and this time I would recommend you to have a look at the Sella Italia Novus Boost Evo saddle, with a retail price of uh, approximately 140 US dollars. With this saddle, uh, there's only one color, this is a pure black with the Sella Italia white uh, lettering. And for this saddle, I would just mention that uh, total weight is 242 grams, and also the width of this saddle is 145 millimeters. Classical kind of endurance slash racing saddle from Sella Italia. Now we are moving on to specialized saddles. Yes, as you probably know, specialized also produces uh, bike saddles and some other equipment like clothing. And specifically when it comes to big S, a big specialized, I would recommend you to have a look at their specialized power expert saddle. So this saddle has a retail price of 100 and 160 US dollars. So it is one of the you know most expensive saddles in this range of saddles that I'm recommending, but definitely have a look at this power expert saddle. The width of this saddle can be 143 millimeters, 155, 168 millimeters, and they even have a very narrow version of 130 millimeters. Pure black saddle, there's no uh, colors to choose from. And I will just mention here that it comes with the kind of patented uh, the body geometry design from Specialized, which is usually excellent when it comes to saddles. And the total weight of this saddle is all the way from 221 grams all the way to 233 grams. Of course, this you know bike saddles always depend on the width of the saddle. Now another brand that you might have not heard about, and this is the Pro. So this is basically Shimano Pro range of products. So Shimano Pro range uh, does saddles, of course, also. These are excellent saddles, and here I will recommend you to have a look at the Pro Falcon Team Saddle. Excellent saddle, comes in two widths, 132 millimeters and 142 millimeters with uh, carbon rails, very lightweight saddle. Absolutely great, you know, saddles from the Pro, so definitely have a look at the Shimano Pro components. Another saddle that I would recommend you to have a look is the uh, Bontrager Eolus Elite saddle. As you know, Bontrager is an in-house brand of Trek bikes, and Bontrager does uh, wheels, saddles, and some other components, but specifically this Bontrager Eolus Elite uh, bike saddle, a retail price of 160 US dollars, a bit, you know, the spicier range of the prices, but definitely an excellent saddle to consider. And I will just mention here that uh, with uh, this uh, saddle, the total weight of the saddle will be, uh, will be between 220 grams, 222 grams. Again, 145 millimeters width or 155 millimeters wide saddle. And uh, finally, one more saddle, which I think is probably one of the best buys you can get, and this is the Giant, Giant Fleet SL Cell. Again, you know Giant by producing excellent road and mountain bikes, but also Giant does a lot of their own components, and of course saddles are one of these components. So when you look at the Giant Fleet SL Cell, the retail price is 105 US dollars, absolutely astonishing price, excellent value for money, and this uh, Fleet uh, SL uh, saddle, I will just mention, has a total weight of 220 grams, it has a width of 145 millimeters, and of course the total length of the saddle is 248 millimeters, where the shell is made of uh, carbon composite. 
excellent value for money in my opinion with this giant fleet SL and this would probably be the, the first saddle I would recommend you to really consider and just get it. So as you see, uh, all these saddles in my opinion are gonna be excellent choices for you and they will definitely change your uh, riding life and as I said, in my opinion, in my experience, uh, if you are a man buying a bike saddle, is it for a road bike or a mountain bike, definitely only buy the saddles which have these uh, middle cutout in the saddle because you want to release the pressure down there you don't want to you know uh, incur a huge pressure by riding hours and hours on that saddle and then later have problems in much more important uh, departments in your life so i think this is gonna be it uh, for today i hope you like what i'm doing and if you do uh, please keep on watching, uh, keep on liking, and as always, I will see you soon in the next episode. Cheers!